five, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Engine full power. And lift off the Falcon 9. Go GPS, go Falcon. As you can see, Falcon 9 has successfully lifted off from Pad 40 at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station, carrying the GPS-3 Space Vehicle 6 payload. Vehicle is supersonic. Approaching Max Q now. Max Q. So at this point in time, we've now passed through that moment of maximum aerodynamic pressure. As I was saying, the uh, uh, M1D engines will gimbal or basically maneuver a little bit by a couple of degrees so that the rocket autonomously tilts those engines just a little bit, a few degrees, and that gimbling allows the vehicle to perform a gravity turn, which is when we go vertical chill has started. as well as horizontal. So we heard the call out MVAC chill has begun. That is the second stage preparing that MVAC engine for ignition. So in about 30 seconds, we'll have three events coming up in quick succession. The first event will be main engine cutoff, or MECO, followed immediately by stage separation. And the third event being second engine start one, or SES one as it's written on your timeline at the bottom of the stage. About 15 seconds away from main engine cutoff, everything looks nominal with the vehicle. Pico. Stage separation. Invac ignition. All right, and there we heard all the call outs and you can see they're on your screen. We have confirmation of successful main engine cutoff, stage separation. Both and vehicles are following nominal trajectories. Second engine start one, and there we just heard uh, that everything is looking nominal for both the first and second stages. The view on the left is really interesting because you can see both the first stage. Up next is fairing separation, fairing separation. which we see there, um, our first view of the GPS-36 uh, payload. The view on the left-hand side of your screen is the first stage and the second stage on the right-hand side of your screen. Now those fairings that we saw separate Another cool view there on the left-hand side of your screen. Acquisition of signal, Bermuda. Uh, we will attempt to recover those fairing halves. Uh, they are flying for the first time today, and we'll attempt to retrieve them using uh, our recovery vessel, Doug. We're now at T plus four minutes and 17 seconds into today's mission. Currently in the first of two planned MVAC burns for uh, satellite deployment. In less than two minutes, you should be able to see the first stage entry burn on the left hand side of your screen. We expect that to last about 30 seconds. For that entry burn, we relight the center engine, E9, as well as uh, two of the radial engines, um, E1 and E5, so that we have a total of three M1D engines helping to slow the vehicle down uh, as it passes back through the Earth's atmosphere. You can also, if you watch carefully on the left-hand side of your screen, you can see those grid fins actuating or, you know, activating. Both vehicles continue to follow nominal trajectories. To help steer the vehicle back down to its precise landing on the drone ship. Now the Falcon 9 supporting today's mission uh, is performing this entry burn for the second time in its lifetime. Uh, as I mentioned before, it previously supported the Crew 5 mission, uh, whereas those fairing halves will be re-entering for the first time of their lifetime.
And while Falcon 9 makes its way back to Earth, um, we will be able to see that reentry burn uh, on the on on our screen, as I mentioned before. Um, as whenever it was sitting on the on the pad prior to launch, we were able to see some of that soot left over from its previous mission. Uh, if you've ever wondered how that soot uh, is actually formed, the it's generated when the carbon-based rocket-grade kerosene, that RP1, uh, burns, and then since the reentry occurs with the engines re-entering first, uh, the booster basically flies right through its own plume, uh, which then deposits the soot onto the exterior of the rocket. In about 10 seconds, we will be coming up on Seco 1, our second engine cutoff and we will attempt to uh, land on our drone ship, a shortfall of Gravitas. That drone ship is parked a couple hundred miles off the coast of Florida in the Atlantic Ocean. Seco. There, we just heard the call out for a second engine cutoff. So we're expecting that entry burn to begin in just under 10 seconds. Stage one FTSSC. Everything looking nominal with the second stage. Stage one, engine burn startup. All right, we heard the call out, and now we can see it on the screen that that entry burn has begun. Beautiful view of planet Earth in the backdrop there of the second stage views on the right-hand side of your screen. Stage one, engine burn shut down. All right, that entry burn has concluded. The vehicle will continue to autonomously steer itself back to the drone ship. Both vehicles short. continue to follow nominal trajectories. The first stage will continue to steer itself back down to Earth. Um, as I mentioned before, we'll be attempting to land on our drone ship a shortfall of Gravitas. Now today's mission, for those of you that may have just joined us, is uh, GPS-3 Space Vehicle 6 for the U.S. Space Force. Today's mission marks SpaceX's fifth overall GPS-3 mission, previously having launched one in 2018, two GPS payloads in 2020, and another in 2021. Stage one, landing burn. Let's see if we stick the landing with the first stage. Landing leg deploy. Stage one, landing confirmed. All right, there we heard the call out that we have uh, that stage one landing confirmed. Expected loss of signal, Cape. Weather is looking great all around uh, off the coast of Florida there. Beautiful view of uh, that first stage landing. Now the mission isn't over just yet. The second stage is embarking on its first coast phase, which will last about 54 minutes. After the coast, Nominal we'll... Parking orbit. And there we just heard the call out that we have a good orbit there for a second stage. So until then, sit back and enjoy some Space Jams. Welcome back to the webcast of the Falcon 9 mission carrying GPS-3 Space Vehicle 6 for the U.S. Space Force. We've had a nominal mission so far. Falcon 9 lifted off on time. We're now coming up on the second burn of that second stage MVAC engine. All right, we can see on screen ignition. and heard the call out there that that burn has commenced and it's planned to last for about 45 seconds. So wrapping up at T plus one hour, four minutes and around 17 seconds. Everything looking nominal so far for this second engine start too. Back shut down. All right, and there we heard and saw on screen that that second engine start, or excuse me, second engine cutoff um, transfer orbit occurred, and there we just heard uh, the news that we were waiting for confirmation of good orbit. So one more coast phase for you, uh, but we'll see you back here in 24 minutes. Stay tuned.
Welcome back once again to our launch coverage of the GPS-3 Space Vehicle 6 mission for the U.S. Space Force. If you're just joining us this morning, we had an on-time launch at 7.24 a.m. Eastern Time, followed by successful ascent, stage separation, first stage landing, and two second stage engine burns. Uh, we have just one more major milestone coming up, which of course is the deployment of the GPS-3-6 satellite from Falcon 9's second stage, which will happen in just a couple seconds seconds from now. Spacecraft separation confirmed. And there we heard the call out and you can see there on your screen we have a successful payload deployment. So with that beautiful view we will bring our webcast to a close. Thank you to the U.S. Space Force for entrusting us with today's GPS-3 Space Vehicle 6 mission. And we take great pride in our support of missions like GPS-3-6. Thanks for tuning in and enjoy the rest of your day.